Good morning, my name is Jen Regan. I am from the sports group. And my topic is is about should NBA players graduate college before entering the draft? My thesis statement is should NBA players graduate before getting drafted to the NBA? Why do I argue this? I argue this because um, there's a concern with most people that NBA players who don't graduate and retire due to injury or age either have a, have a hard time stably economically because they don't have no, no um, education or career to fall back on. Another concern is that it's an image that kids look up to and they would, wouldn't want to see that. They wouldn't want to see the NBA player not graduate because they would imitate that. Um, my main points are the benefits that uh, it creates on players, the effects that it has. My second main point is the effects that it has on players, and my third main point would be the solution to fix this. An interesting point is, an interesting fact is that on NBA.com I read that the problem was so much of a concern that on 2005 they created a rule where the players must at least do one year in college before getting drafted to the NBA. Thank you. Good. Real quick, um, Enrique, I think this is great. I have a student in Section 13 that's doing a similar speech. You may want to take a look. It's Ricardo Soto, uh, and he's doing a similar speech. You might want to take a look at his argument. I do like your argument that um, this um, imitation thing, I think, needs to be part of your argument, all right? I don't think you need solution. Uh, I mean, the solution is obvious, that they should stay in college. You don't have to say that much about the solution. But the, what, what, what happens when they don't? when they leave. I think that's what you need to focus on. But this idea of imitation, I like that. You can, you can focus on that as a main point. Good.